Uh, at first, I will present the summary paper of the Blizzard Challenge 2020. Okay, uh, uh, this challenge, uh, as I have, we have mentioned, this is the 16th annual Blizzard Challenge, and the first uh, challenge was held in 2005. And uh, this is the first ch challenge that was that is organized by the team at the University of Science and Technology of China. And uh, this year, we uh, released two uh, data sets of Chinese dialects for evaluation, and all evaluations were conducted online. Uh, in terms of uh, the techniques adopted by the uh, systems, we can see a, a clear trend toward uh, using neural, net, neural acoustic models and neural vocoders. I will present more details in the following slides. Okay, uh, for designing the tasks, uh, iPad company uh, generously released, uh, uh, provided two data sets uh, uh, for system uh, construction. The first data set is a Mandarin um, data, speech data set. Uh, the transcriptions are daily news. Uh, a speaker is a professional male native Mandarin speaker. The total duration is about 9.5 hours and the sampling rate is 48 kilohertz. Uh, we provide audio together with text transcriptions. Another data set is Shanghainese, uh, considering that this workshop was initially planned to be held in Shanghai. So uh, this data set, uh, the transcription are also daily news. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the speaker is a professional female native Shanghainese speaker. It's a three hours, 16 uh, uh, kilohertz sampling rate. In addition to text, audio and text uh, transcriptions, we also provided the phonetic transcriptions for both the training and the test the data of this uh, Shanghainese data set. Uh, based on these two data, set, these two data sets, uh, two tasks are designed. The first is the hub task, which is to build one voice in Mandarin using the provided data. And each participant is required to synthesize the test set of 700 utterances, including uh, news sentences, PSC sentences, and intelligibility sentences. Uh, the PSC sentences are uh, sentences of the Mandarin pro proficiency test in China. And uh, the, in, uh, the intelligibility sentences are meaningless ones and composed by random choosing words. For the spoken task, uh, it is to build one voice in Shanghainese using the uh, provided data and the, each participant is asked to synthesize a test set of uh, 391 utterances, including news and chat sentences. The rules this year just follows the rules of previous challenges, and we just made one modification, that is we put a limitation on the amount of external data. That means each participant must use no more than 100 hours of audio for each task, including the provided data. Okay, uh, so this challenge has attracted 32 teams uh, uh, to, register and download the, uh, to register and download the data. Among them, 16 teams uh, submit the, the hub task results and eight teams submit the spoke task results. Uh, we can see a very balanced distribution between academic and industry teams. Okay, uh, following previous challenges, uh, all systems are, um, are identified using anonymous letters during the evaluation and the letter A is used for natural speech and we have no benchmark systems this year. All systems this year uh, follow the neural network-based uh, statistical parametric speech synthesis approach. That means that is for the first time in the Blizzard Channel history, uh, uh, there were no hit marker model-based or unit selection and waveform containation systems were submitted. Okay, so among the 16 uh, hub task submissions, uh, 11 teams adopted the sequence sequence models such as Techcontrol, and five uh, teams adopted DM-based models. And uh, neural vocoders were adopted by all systems with WebRN, WebNet, and LPCNet being popular choices. And uh, uh, 10 of the 16 teams utilize external data, such as the data backer data set, uh, which is a uh, Chinese open uh, software, open data set, and, uh, and uh, LG speech, like, uh, like these data sets. Okay, let's go to the listening test. Uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, just like previous challenges for the hub task, we have, we have three types of listeners, including the paid university students and the speech experts and the uh, volunteers. Uh, for the spoken task, because it is uh, uh, Shanghai need, uh, uh, we just uh, had the paid university students. Uh, they are recruited at the Shanghai International Studies University. Uh, so uh, due to the impact of COVID-19, 
all listeners complete the test online this year because in previous challenge, usually the paid uh, listeners will conduct the test uh, on site, but this year all the listeners conducted the uh, test online. So this is the how the test is designed. Actually, we only select a subtest, a subset, a subset of the complete test set, and use them in the formal listening test. Uh, there, for the hub task, there are six sections. Each section has 17 samples. Uh, this set, these six sessions cover the similarity, naturalist, paragraph, and intelligibility. For the spoke task, uh, there are seven sections and nine samples in each section, uh, which covers similarity, naturalist, and intelligibility. Uh, it should be noticed that uh, considering the complexity of input transcriptions for Shanghainese, the dictation test was not conducted for the intelligibility test of the spoke task. Instead, the listeners were asked to choose a response that rep represented how uh, intelligible the synthetic voice was using a scale from one to five, just like the mean opinion test, uh, mean opinion score test. Okay, the overall completion rate of the registered uh, uh, listeners was 84.8%, 8, which is quite high this year. And uh, we also uh, uh, ignored some uh, some results which problemat which seems uh, not very good. And we uh, finally we have the numbers of listeners used in the final listening test result. Uh, there were 370 for the main task and 87 for the uh, sub task. Okay, let's go to the results of the challenge. Uh, at first, let's look at the main task. Uh, this uh, figure shows the uh, box plot of the mean opinion scores on naturalness of all systems. Here, uh, the uh, letter A in indicates the natural speech. The other systems are ranked in a descending order of the mean naturalness. But we can also see some colored symbols below each uh, uh, system letter, which indicate what kind of acoustic models and the uh, neural recorders we, were used by them. So at first, I'd like to play a, a, a sample synthetic by, synthesized by all these systems. You can hear them uh, one by one. Can you hear the sample? So maybe something like, can you hear the, 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 the audio the, of the synthetic samples? We can, but the audio has stopped. Stop, okay, okay, maybe I can maybe. Uh, rest restart it, okay. Yes, please. 但是收取的费用最高不得超过 但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取的费用最高不得超过60%。但是收取
uh, from uh, these labels, we can see that uh, uh, there is no clear uh, 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 conclusion that uh, if the six six model should, could uh, uh, perform better than the DM based one. Uh, because uh, there are some, uh, uh, for the top system, some use the DMS models, some use the sequence models. Regarding with the uh, vocoder, I think most of the uh, systems use the uh, autoregressive neural vocoders. Only two systems use the uh, non autoregressive ones. One is the web glow here, another is uh, uh, the PWG here. So for the top systems, most of them use the web iron and the uh, web net as their neural vocoders. Okay, let's continue. Uh, this uh, uh, figure shows the similarity results. Uh, 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 we have some uh, conclusions here. No system was as similar to target speaker as a natural speech, and the system I was significantly more similar to the target speaker than all other systems uh, except system O. And its similarity of system I is uh, uh, the mean optimal score is, uh, is 4.2. For the intangibility, this uh, 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 figure shows the uh, pinging error rates with tones uh, according to the dictation results of listeners. Uh, we can see that there are several systems uh, achieved uh, uh, now in, uh, the insignificant difference with the natural speech. There are system uh, D here, I, L, and P. Uh, uh, there are no significant difference among them and the natural speech in terms of the intelligibility. Okay, then let's uh, move to the uh, uh, spoken task. Uh, 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 this figure is also the uh, naturalist results show in box plot. We have eight submissions together with natural speech. Uh, these labels indicate their methods. Uh, at first, I will also play a sample. 农药呼响,呼作灵魂,被老上海新色比起。纽约互相互作灵魂,被老上海新色比起。so, uh, according to the uh, listening test results, uh, uh, there were no systems as natural as the reference uh, natural speech, and the system I uh, was significantly more natural uh, than all other systems. Its mean open score is uh, 4.0 on naturalness. For similarity, uh, no system was as similar to the target speaker as natural speech, and the system E achieved a mean open score of 4.1. Uh, it was significantly more similar to the target speaker, except uh, system L, that is this one. Uh, for intangibility, as I have said that we didn't use dictation, but used a um, uh, more mean open score test uh, for the intangibility uh, evaluation of the spoke task. We can see that there was no significant difference between the uh, system I and E. For system I, its intelligibility uh, has a median score here of five. It's the same as natural speech. But a further investigation shows that uh, we calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient between the naturalness and intelligibility scores of all systems. We can find a strong correlation. The correlation is about correlation coefficient is about 0 0.76. Uh, this means that you you do this kind of most intelligibility test. The when listeners make their judgment, they may also be influenced by the naturalness of the speech. So maybe in the future, we or we should uh, uh, prefer or we still prefer to use the dictation test. Okay, let's go to the summary of this uh, 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 this uh, 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 this paper. So it has been eight months from the announcement to this workshop. Uh, in this uh, challenge, we have designed two tasks. And we have altogether 16 teams submitted their results, and we have recruited more than 500 listeners. And the best naturalist and the similarity scores uh, the, of the best system, that is uh, 4.2 uh, on the half task. Okay, so uh, if you are interested in more material of this challenge, we can find the, uh, maybe we haven't done that, but we will done it in the near future. We will put the uh, uh, listening test results and the uh, synthetic speech materials to the Blizzard uh, uh, website and all the 
So the challenge papers are also available at the Fed Festival's uh, website. So yeah, I also want to thank a lot of people who helped us to organize this, uh, this, uh, uh, this challenge. I thank you very much, especially to all the participants, to all the teams and all the listeners. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So uh, uh, this is uh, the, the presentation of the summary, summary paper of this challenge. Now, I think we still have uh, uh, two, minute, two minutes for questions. So uh, if you have any questions, you can type them. Hello, everyone. My name is Lai Peng from the Unison AI Technology, Technology Corporation. Today, I will give you a brief introduction about what we have done for the Blizzard Challenge 2020. Uh, we are team I and uh, most members are my colleagues as well as mates from, from Shanghai Normal Uni University. This is our first time participating in the challenge. Uh, we built two TTS systems for both Mandarin and uh, Shanghai news tasks with the same architecture. I will divide the presentation into four parts. And now let's begin. Uh, usually, the front end module for uh, Mandarin TTS uh, consists of multiple sub modules, as shown on the slides. Uh, this time, we used a rule based TN module uh, to convert non -stand -stand standard forms of words into spoken forms. Uh, meanwhile, we applied two CRF models uh, for word segmentation and part of speech tag tagging, respectively. G2P module uh, converts uh, Chinese characters into pin sequence uh, through looking up a dictionary. However, sometimes pronunciations are difficult to determine, such as those for polyphones. We applied CIF models for uh, the most fr frequently used polyphones to predict their pronunciations. The same method was also used to predict the boundary of prosodic word and phrase. Word form, part of speech, and word length were used uh, as input to predict the boundary of prosodic word. When dealing with prosodic phrase, a uh, prosodic word boundary was also taken into a, a account. Uh, in Mandarin, tongue sandy and erhua uh, sound will significantly affect the intelligibility. Our system used uh, grammar rules and uh, prosodic pause to handle these special situations, uh, such as the third tongue sandy and the uh, sound of e and bu. Uh, for erhua sound, first of all, we listed all the uh, non erhua sound words. So the system could read those words uh, which are not on the list in the, in the right way. A texture based 626 model uh, was used to predict male spectrum uh, from character in, uh, sequence. Here, the CBHG was retained as a post processing module to further improve the prediction accuracy. Uh, Chinese characters were first converted uh, to PIN sequence and further uh, represented by international pronunciation alphabet. Prosthetic word and uh, phrase boundary representations were inserted between IPA characters. A trainable embedding table was selected to store speaker embedding. Uh, for Mandarin data, uh, each paragraph was uh, equipped with an embedding for style modeling. We used uh, an uh, autoregressive wavenet uh, to reconstruct audio waveform. Audio samples were transformed by 10 bit mu law and uh, contest. Speaker embedding and the mail spectrum were used as global and local conditioning, respectively. Uh, 30 deleted, deleted convolutions were adopted and uh, the filter width was set to two. Uh, the training data was uh, annotated before training section. Uh, some extremely long sentences were divided into multiple clauses. Prosthetic word and uh, prosthetic phrase boundary annotations were performed uh, on Mandarin data. 
silence was trimmed to further improve the st uh, stability of attention, uh, both at the beginning and uh, at the end of a sentence. Uh, what's more, we have sampled the Shanghainese audio uh, to a sample rate of uh, 24 kilohertz. The high frequency band uh, was a fake spectrogram generated uh, from the audio, uh, the orig original audio. At the training phase, we first trained a Tectron WaveNet system based on our own 90 hour corpus. Mandarin and Shanghainese corpus were adopted to perform fine tuning based on the pre trained models. Uh, Mayor's spectrum used for WaveNet fine tuning was generated from Tectron via ground truth line mode. Uh, one thing to mention is that our training corpus. Uh, does, uh, doesn't contain any Shanghainese data, but the, uh, but the experiments proved that uh, the above training scheme was also effective, which means the training data of Mandarin was also helpful for uh, Shanghainese training. At the synthesis phase, Mandarin test sentences were uh, first sent to the front end module to get pinyin sequence and uh, prosthetic boundaries. As for uh, Shanghainese, the phonetic transcriptions were used as, a, as input of texture. Uh, global variance conversion was performed on the generated mirror spectrum to uh, adjust its dynamic range. Now, after my introduction, let's take a look at the results of the system evaluation. Systems are evaluated from four dimensions, and the following is uh, mainly about our results in each, each test. In the naturalist test, the most uh, for our uh, Mandarin system is 4.2. And now let's listen to uh, a synthesis speech from out of domain sentence. 300多年前,建筑设计师莱伊恩受命设计了英国温泽市政府大厅。他运用工程力学的知识uh, the loss of our Shanghainese system is uh, 4.0, and here is uh, a synthesis speech. 纽约互相互作灵魂,比罗上海新生比起。最近阿拉上母娘操了给。最近阿拉上母娘操了给,用马新的女主,刚买了学校送上海把照。Okay, uh, the next part. Uh, this part evaluates the similarity between synthesis speech and the reference recording. Uh, in the Mandarin task, our system obtained an average opinion similarity score of 4.2. Uh, for the Shanghainese task, our system scored 3.6. Uh, 3 uh, the intelligibility test for Mandarin requires listeners to record the sound. Uh, the pin error rate with the uh, tones of our system is 9%. Moreover, our system solves most of the Erhua sound problems and let's fill it by a few sentences. 夏天遵照航空,协商牙齿的手绢。花纹肯定措施,协商牙齿的手绢。猛的人群。花纹肯定措施,投掷凶猛的人群。Okay, uh, the process for Shanghainese use, uh, uses a scoring mechanism similar to naturalness and similarity, and our most score is 4.1. Uh, Paragraph test was to evaluate the synthesis speech from uh, multiple aspects in, in each part. Uh, listeners were asked to listen to a whole paragraph, uh, paragraph from news uh, before choosing a score from 1 to 60 for each aspect. And uh, the mean opinion scores of our system are listed in the table. 
uh, evaluation results have, pro have proved the effectiveness of our systems uh, at the same time. Our systems are not perfect, and there are still some problems. Uh, we use uh, CF models to solve most of the front end problems for simplicity. simplicity. But its uh, prediction accuracy is limited, and the errors accumulate between modules. The structure of texture leads to pronunciation problems such as word repeating and skipping. In addition, we use an autoregressive WaveNet model as a recorder, uh, but, the inference, but the inference speed is really slow. Uh, we have tried many, many ways to improve the uh, above problems, and our new solution now has uh, solved the instability problem, and it runs much faster than real time. In fact, the engine has been released for commercial use. Uh, okay, that's all about our systems in this challenge. Uh, thanks for your patience and uh, listening. Uh, I'll be coming to introduce you the OPPO's text to speed system this year. Um, first, uh, first, let me play a few audio clips from our submission. These audios are generated from different types of text in the competition. 比如说吉林省无线电监测设备实现了全覆盖。世界杯怎么会有如此巨大的吸引力？除去足球本身的魅力之外，还有什么超乎其上而更伟大的东西？酒店思考日常挂念穷苦的飞船。Let me explain the overall architecture and the front end pipeline. Uh, like the other system, our system consists of two phases, the training phase and the testing phase. In the training phase, we extracted acoustic and thematic features from the prepared data set. And then we use those features to train our front end model, acoustic model and vocoder in sequence. In the, in the testing phase, we use the trained front end and acoustic model to generate features in sequence. And finally, the audio is generated by the vocoder. Uh, that's our overall architecture. And I'm going to go through the front, the front end module, the acoustic module, and the vocoder in turn. Uh, the goal of our front end system is to generate accurate phonetic and prosodic labels from the input text. And these pictures show the overview of our front end pipeline. First, all the text will go through a text normalization module, which, trans which transform the text into a standard writing form. Next, we hand over the normalized text to BERT for chart level feature extraction, which extract features that contain richer context information from character sequence. In our experiment, it can bring a significant improvement compared with traditional chart embeddings. Then we use the extract, extracted feature, uh, chart features to do word segmentation and the part of speech tagging, and further extract word novel features and the post features from the result. Finally, we use all those features to train our prosody model and G2P model and get a prosodic label sequence and a phone label sequence. Uh, now I'm going to talk uh, talking about how we use the feature extracted by BERT to make our front end more accurate. There are currently two basic modeling units. One is based on characters, and, uh, and the other is based on words. We found that okay, we found that the word-based approach is more precise because words literally carry certain prosodic boundary information. But it is easy to be affected by the results of word segmentation. It means that if your word segmentation system make a mistake the prosody will sound bad, bad. So we use the character-based method, which is simple and flexible, and is a lot affected by the result of word segmentation. We appended the word information to the corresponding characters at the same time 
In this way, we return the word information and alleviate the problem that the result was affected by the word segmentation result. So the question becomes, how do we combine word features and character features? We introduce the core idea of our method through a simple example. As you can see, we have a word sangzang, which means rice in English, or you can call it a char sequence. It consists of two char, which are sang and zang. First, we can use bird to extract features from the char sequence. In this case, since we have two char, uh, we, we can get a char sequence. Uh, we can get get a char level feature with two time steps. Then, for this word, we repeat it twice to get a sequence of two words, which guarantees that two chars are able to get the word information. Of course, if your word contains three char, you'll need to repeat the char three times to get a sequence of three words. Since there is a low word-based pre-trained BERT, we use a traditional pre-trained word embedding instead. Finally, we can calculate the word features, which is from word embedding, and char features, which is from BERT to form a new feature as input to the processing model and the GT model. And now it's our processing model. We still adopted a hierarchical structure. We mainly use prosodic word level and prosodic phrase level. We represent the prosodic label equivalents as two level of boundary labels. Therefore, we lead two different levels of feature extractors, which we represent simply use NNPW and NNPPH. As you can see from the diagram that we have uh, input, the input here is a concatenated embeddings mentioned in last slide. We fit the input into two level neural network feature extractor, get the respective boundary results, and then combine the results into the fellow prosody labels. One thing uh, need to be said here, the output of NMTW will be con concatenated with ori original inputs again at the input of NMPPH so that the hierarchical information can be passed. Um, and NN can be any feature extractor like a transformers, uh, LSTM, uh, we use uh, transformers. And that's all our front end related works. And we use Tectron 2 to predict the mirror spectrum. Uh, for Mandarin, we built a multi speaker model with a five mile Mandarin Chinese dataset and one mile English dataset. In order to preserve the characteristic of each speaker, we add a 16 dimension speaker embedding table and concatenate the speaker embedding with the original outputs of encoder to form a new input for the decoder. Then we used the converged multi-speaker model as the initial model to find two on competition datasets. For improving the robustness of, of long sentence, GMM attention with eight mixture was used. At the same time, we used the guided attention loss for the convergence of, of align, alignment. In the end, we adopt V1 as a vocoder. A 25-hour Mandarin mile corpus was used to get the base model. The, then we fine-tuned the model with the provided data. Finally, we fine-tuned the model with GTA, ground truth align. The so VRM structure was used in similar to the original paper, but it was several imp improvement. Instead of the GRU or dual softmax layer to predict the fine part and the coarse part, two GRU layer and three dense layer are used. Thank you, that's our, uh, our system. Thank you for your listening. Hello everyone, my name is Zhou Wang Zhang and it's my great honor to give a presentation about the Tencent Speed System, system for Blizzard Challenge 2020. Uh, uh, Blizzard Challenge 2020 has two tasks this year. Uh, first task is uh, MH1 task. It uh, contains uh, nine hours of Mandarin Chinese speech data from professional male speaker, and uh, uh, it provides text transcriptions and audio files. And the second task is uh, SS1. It contains 
three hours of speed data from a native Shanghai famous speaker, and uh, we are provided with text transcriptions, uh, thomis, and uh, audifiers. Here is an overview of our TTS system. Uh, we have three parts. The first part is the front end analysis, and we have a very robust uh, front end project supporting both Chinese and English. And the second part is acoustic modeling. We have two systems for uh, blizzard challenge. And the first one is at the Duran system. It's a variant of Duran system proposed by Tencent AI Lab, and it's for MH1 task. The, the, second, the second system is uh, uh, GMM V2B based Tekton 2 for SS1 task. And the last part is the neural coder. We uh, adopted the feather wave. It's proposed by our team, and it's a variant of wave R. The right, right figure is the overview of our TTS system. Uh, first, let me introduce our front end analysis. And we have customers labor and SSML uh, for, uh, and uh, besides, we have uh, text normalization uh, is rule based and uh, uh, model based. The model is uh, bi directional LSTM and uh, uh, MLP. And uh, we, we also have English segmentation and uh, Chinese segmentation. The English segmentation is uh, based, based on trigram model, and the Chinese segmentation is based on bi bidirectional LSTM and uh, CIF. And we also have uh, uh, pin detection and uh, letters detection. It uh, decides uh, how to pronounce uh, when, uh, when met with uh, pin or letters. And besides, we also have procedure structure prediction is based on both uh, feature representation and LSTM and the CRF. And besides, we also have polyform disambiguation uh, for Chinese. Uh, it's based on NMT encoder or both and uh, MLP. And we have just one model for all Chinese words, for all Chinese polyform words. And besides, we also consider the term sentry. And uh, we also have English uh, G2P model is uh, based on word level, second to sequence. The red, the red figure is the uh, uh, framework of our front end uh, analysis. And the next part is acoustic modeling. Uh, the first uh, is the ad -Duran model for MH1 task. Uh, we have forming and tone stress and uh, proximity symbol for <laughs> proximity symbol as input. And we also need a HMM based hard line duration uh, to to give guidance for 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 acoustic modeling, and uh, we have a skip encoder for robust pronunciation, and we also uh, apply speak identity style code and language code for more robust and uh, and uh, controllable uh, expressive TDS, and uh, the decoder contains two residual LSTMs, and we also have a time delayed LSTM postnet. The next, the next system is GMM V2B based Tekton 2, and it's for SS1 task. Uh, it has a fast alignment and a very good stability, and it doesn't need any, uh, any, any hard line duration and uh, proximity. It, it, it can learn uh, end to end. And the, the right figure uh, is, uh, is our at the Duran system, and the uh, following equations is uh, uh, from GMM way to B paper. And the last part is uh, a neural neural coder. Uh, and uh, uh, as claimed in the paper, wave one uh, 2048 can get uh, no significant difference with the wave net in most tests. So a big wave one with GIO hidden size 2048 was used by us to obtain high quality generated speech. The wave model, uh, models of waveform at uh, 48 kHz sampling rate of as offered in the task uh, MH1 for high fidelity speech synthesis, which conditioned on com conventional uh, 24 kHz mirror spectrograms produced by acoustic model. For SS1 task, a uh, 16 kHz wave was adopted as the Corpus is sampling at 16 kHz. All the neural code adopted the other variant of V1. Uh, we use uh, 12 bit mu low and four bands to efficiently model the 
discretized waveform and faster generation. Condition network consists of five uh, one times three convolution layers with channel size 512. Before passed into sample rate network, extracted local features are repeated to match the sampling rate of target waveform. Specifically, as acoustic features are extracted with hop size 240 from uh, 24 kHz audio in task MH1, so local features are repeated 480 times to generate 48 kHz waveform. And if you want, if you will want to know more details, you can refer to the paper uh, Phaser Wave. Uh, here are some samples of our system. Arwei 呃, here, let me introduce the evaluation results. The first evaluation is uh, uh, naturalness. Uh, as you can see, the system OIL performed better than other systems. Uh, it's proved that, that our ad endurance uh, system has shown super superiority over most other systems. The next is the similarity test. Uh, in this section, each listener should score the sensitive audio in two fixed reference samples. and. Uh, our system achieves the third highest score and shows significant adva advantages than many other participants. And the third test is a pinning error rate with Tom test. Uh, in this test, system, system I L D has a similar performance, and our system L has the lowest uh, error rate, is owing to our adherent system. And the second part is SS1 task. The first is uh, uh, naturalness. Uh, the top three systems, IEL, perform similarly. It's proved that our Tecton based speech sensor system has shown superiority over most other systems. Next one is uh, speaker similarity. And uh, obviously, uh, system E performs best, and our system L achieves the second highest score and still performs better than many other systems. The last one is the intelligibility. Uh, in this test, uh, system I performs much better than other participants. Our system L still has the third highest score of intelligibility. Uh, let me draw the conclusion. Uh, we have three parts, front-end analysis, acoustic model, and the neural culture. Uh, we have very robust text normalization, very high accuracy of polyform disambiguation, and very natural procedure structure predictions. Uh, as for acoustic model, we have ad Duran and GM V2B based detection. We have a give encoder for robust neural TDS and a tongue embedding for more accurate pronunciation, style code for more controllable and expressive TDS, pre trained multi speaker based model for uh, suitability. Uh, this is for MG1 task. Uh, and then finally, the GM V2B based attention for stable and fast end to end learning. And we have neural code, feather wave uh, is. Uh, based on 12-bit uh, uh, mu law for better quality and uh, LPC and uh, multiband processing for faster inference speed. That's all, thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Zhe Xing. On behalf of our team, I'm here to present our TTS system built for the 2020 Belize Challenge. Here, I will briefly introduce the technique we applied in our entry. We rely a lot on neural network models to meet the goal of the challenge this year. The synthesis pipeline is, show, is shown in A from the figure on the left. Prasadi annotations are added into the test sequence by the Prasadi prediction module, which is designed to predict appropriate pauses within speech. Then the sequence is converted to phoneme sequence uh, and passed into the spectrogram prediction module as the input. After we have the synthesized spectrogram, we feed that as input to the waveform generation module to uh, convert it back into audio signals. 
three independent sequence to sequence network are trained in this framework. They are the Prasadi uh, prediction model and uh, the Takashan based text to spectrogram model and the neural network, uh, neural vocoder with on and respectively. The Takashan based model is shown in uh, B from the figure on the left and uh, the Prasadi prediction model is shown in the right figure. The Prasadi prediction, prediction model here adopts three individual Prasadi networks for different Prasadi annotations in a, in a hierarchical structure to tag Prasadi labels for the input sequence. For example, this is a sentence that has been added Prasadi labels um, where the symbol add means Prasadi word annotation here. Then it is converted into pinging sequence and then the phoneme sequence. The final phoneme sequence is the, uh, is the input of our Takoshan based model. The synthetic results of our system is not as good as uh, other teams this year. We rank in 14 out of 16 and uh, we achieve a mouse on natural needs with uh, 3.2 and another ship on speaker similarity. For the intelligibility, the pinging error rate is 17.8%. Uh, um, and finally, the overall impressions of our system scores 34 out of uh, 60. Let's take a listen to some samples. 着火的房子里呢, the second one is for intelligibility test. The third one, same as the first one, is for naturalness and similarity evaluation. The Here are the main references. Thanks for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to ask if you have any questions. Hello, everyone. Here is the team from South China University of Technology. Now we present our test to speech system for the Blitz Search Range 2020 hot test. As shown in the figure, our system used the Tecotro 2 architecture to generate the form level mass spectrogram. And then we used the wave INN recorder to restore the waveforms. In our form time processing model, it contains a graphic to phony module and a bird based bi directional LSTN CRF structure possibly prediction model. Since the provided since the provided training dataset contains both Chinese sentences and some English words, we modified the graphic to phony model to support bilingual test per processing, and then we introduced a two-state training method to achieve bilingual systems. In the first day, we use one English dataset and one external Mandarin dataset to fully train the Tecotro model. Then in the second day, we fix the parameter of the encoder and only employ the provided dataset to fighten the other part of the Tecotro. Unfortunately, our system performed poorly. Our naturalness MOS is only 2.6, and our pinyin error rate with pumps is 17.1%. Also, the voice similarity is written by the unclear output speech. We attribute our systems for to our two-state training method. For example, it ignored the difference of coherence between the characters in the dataset used in the two states. This is our lack of consideration in the system's design, but I believe we will do better in the next time. And this is all of our presentation. Thanks for listening. Hello, everyone. I'm Xue Hao Zhou. I'm from National University of Singapore. Today, I will make a presentation here to present our paper for Blitzer Challenge 2020. 
The paper title is NUS HLT System for Blazor Challenge 2020. My presentation will start from the introduction of TTS. Then I will introduce our system architecture. What is text-to-speech? A text-to-speech system is able to generate the natural sound from the corresponding transcription. There are different techniques to build a TTS system. The traditional approach includes the parametric synthesis and unit selection. Recently, with the development of sequence-to-sequence -sequence network, the end-to-end -end approach is a popular way to build a TTS system, such as Takotron, Transformer TTS, and fast speech. This is our system architecture. Our system was built based on Takotron 2. Takotron 2 is a sequence to sequence RN based network. However, we made some modifications on Takotron 2. Our system input is phone. The phone identity is passed through an embedding layer to obtain the phone embedding. Similarly, the tongue identity is passed through an embedding layer to obtain the tongue embedding. We concatenated the phone embedding and tongue embedding to form the new input to encoder. The residue skip connection was implemented in our encoder part. Additionally, we extracted the word embedding from a pre-trained language model, and we combined the word embedding with the encoder output to serve as the input to the attention-based decoder. The attention-based decoder predicts the male spectrogram from the encoder output. For Mandarin task MH1, we used wave RNN as neural encoder because in this task, we had lots of samples to generate and wave RNN is able to generate speech fast. For Shanghainese task SS1, we used WaveNet as neural encoder. So this is my presentation. Thank you. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, we can discuss further. Thanks again. Hello, everyone. This is the Sogo system for Blizzard Challenge 2020. We come from Sogo in Beijing, China. My name is Liu Kai. This is a flowchart of our system. It mostly contains an end-to-end fast-speech-based acoustic model and a multi-band wireless-based vocoder. To be clear in advance, we used some extra text and speech data for front end and back end models training. Now I will introduce the details of the above system. These are the features of our system. In the text analysis section, we use rule model and ME model for text normalization, BST model for word segmentation, BERT DN model for polyform prediction, and BERT LST model for prosodic boundary prediction. We adopt fast speech as our acoustic model and made some improvements. Firstly, we use synthesis level VE to model the channel different information in the training data. Phonemy level VE is used to model the local prosodic information of sentences. In addition, we also use multiband decoder and GAN to improve the local modeling accuracy of male spectrograms. These are the predicted male spectrograms for each system. It's clear that system D got the clearest results. We adopt VWAM as our base vocoder structure at 16 bits sample, 32 kHz with MOL and PQMF subband. And we trained another texture like acoustic model for teacher force learning. Eventually, the speech quality gets a great promotion. Here are some demos. 备受瞩目的高考又快要到了。来自教育部的数据显示, This is System A. 备受瞩目的高考又快要到了。来自教育部的数据显示, And is System D. The quality of System A to D greatly improved. And finally, we submitted System D. Now, let's give a summary. We used an improved fast speech based acoustic model followed by a multi band wave iron new vocoder at 32 kHz. It can generate very high quality speech stably. In the future, we will make more attempts, attempts in waveform modeling at higher sample rate and cross language learning. Thanks. It's my honor to introduce the Royal Flush TTS system for Blizzard Challenge 2020. 
For today, I will briefly introduce the tasks. There are two voices that need to be built from the released Mandarin and Shanghainese data, and our system is based on end-to-end -end capturing two acoustic model, followed by the RPC net for coder. This is the overall architecture of our system. In training phase, totally, we generate linguistic features, including phoneme sequences and prosody boundary labels for Mandarin text using G2P and prosody annotation tools. RPCNet features are extracted as acoustic features, while mass data grants are extracted as intermediate features. In synthesis phase, we adopt a front end to convert Mandarin text to linguistic features. Then they are fed into the system and the speech waveforms are then generated. No external training data are used in our systems. It is worth noting that we generate prosody boundary labels for Mandarin data, while we directly take Shanghainese phoneme sequences as input of acoustic model. Different from original Tapjong 2 architecture, we further predict male spectral graphs. Then, CBHG module is used to transform them into the epicenter features. With this approach, we aim to improve the stability of synthesized speech. We also apply GMM based attention for long form speech synthesis. 17 systems were evaluated for the hub task, including natural speech A. As we can see, our system performs relatively well in intelligibility tests, but it still needs to be improved in naturalness and similarity. Nine systems were evaluated for the spoke test. Our system performs a moderate among all teams. So the Royal Flush PD system has been introduced. In future work, more effective front end module and high quality neural coders as a major exchange of our system. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here to join the workshop and share the synthesis system for the Blazer Challenge 2020 today. Um, my name is Wendy He from the Text to Speech Group of the Himalaya Company. Well, our presentation is consists of three parts, including the many architecture of our system, the overall results, and the conclusion and our future work. So firstly, in the graph, we will see the front-end module followed by an acoustic model. Finally, the male spectrograms will be transformed into the waveform by the vocoder. So let's focus on the front-end module. You know, in, in order to improve rhythm and pronunciation, we use uh, you know, polyphonic disambiguation model and um, prosodic prediction model to crack the pin in and generate you know, prosodic break in Mandarin datasets. As mentioned in the figure, the features of the data are extracted and then coordinated to be the input of the BioSTM based prosodic prediction network. And after the output with the prosodic label is generated, a BioSTM and CNN based sequence to sequence model we proposed, combined with the rule based G2P toolkit, are working for polyphonic disambiguation to generate the pin in sequence with higher accuracy. So as for the acoustic model, um, Tectron 2 is also our best choice in this time and finally we got the waveform reconstructed by the wave RNN vocoder. And it is worth mentioning that there has a you know, 512 dimension random initialized channel speaker embedding is implemented for the fine tune the uh, you know, Blizzard Mandarin data set from the pre-trained first speaker Tectron 2 model. And as for the evaluation results, our Himalaya TDS system performs better and achieves higher quality in Mandarin synthesis than Shanghai synthesis. So, in conclusion, the final evaluation results in both tasks indicates that our system has a middle, uh, you know, performance slightly above the average, and we have much room for improvement in some aspect below, and we hope to uh, achieve better performance in the future. So that's all I want to say today. Thanks for your listening. Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to share our project with you. We are 
come from Harbin Institution of Technology, Shenzhen. My name is Fu Hu Hao, and my team member is Zhang Yiben, Liu Kailong, and Liu Chao. Next, we will introduce the TDS model architecture from the following three parts. The first part is the front end. First, we normalize the original text to more normal text and obtain the pinyin and the linguistic future by open source tools like JBAR and uh, PI pinyin. And then we use the broad based MCF model to predict the boundary break and it, it is more useful to make more natural speech. The second layer is sequence to sequence acoustic model. Uh, first, we replace the encoder with more powerful transformer network and uh, introduce the local ILM to modeling the local information of the input text. And in order to enhance the robustness of the model, we also introduce the forward attention to replace the local sensitive attention in Tektron 2. And then we add the SSM loss with model training, which can make the spectrum more sharp. And the third part is the vocoder. Considering the speed of the vocoder, we adopt the GAN-based model paired with GAN. It's more faster than other vocoders, uh, like with NET, with RNA, and uh, LPC NET. But the sound quality is a little poor. Finally, let's look at the result. Our system code is G. Uh, the result is not very satisfied. Mm, but our system has a lot of space of the improvement both in front end and the vocoders. That's all for our report. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Wang Tong. It is my great honor to be here to give an introduction of our speech sensor system for Blinza Challenger 2020. I am a doctor candidate from Institute of Automation, Chinese Academic of Science. My research interest involves speech synthesis and voice promotion, and this is the main content of my report. I would describe the CSIA speech synthesis system. About 9.5 hours of speech date from an user enter and 3 hours of speech from one native with Shanghai listen speaker are adopted as the training date for the construction this year. Our synthesis system is built based on the multi-speaker end-to-end model, and the LPC net based on the neural recorder is adopted to improve the quality. The whole network consists of two components, as shown in this feature. It is a typical multi-end-to-end -end speech synthesis model, which includes textual and LPC net. The speech database is about 9.5 hours of speech from one native Mandarin Chinese speaker. It contains about the different speaking style. We build a multi-speaker speech synthesis system by adding external data. The composition of the external Mandarin database is shown in the above table. In the Shanghai list task, we build a front-end synthesis suitable for Shanghai list based on who we form in this table. The forming labeling constructed by this method is more in line with the actual pronunciation rules of Shanghai list. The naturalist and the similarity were calculated. The results are shown in the above feature, and our identity of the system is C. For all these evaluation results, our system only ranks average level. So many works need to be done for us especially on improving the quality of the synthesis speech. Uh, thanks for your listening. Hello everyone, my name is Hu Beibei. 
I'm going to present our system, the RTMID text-to-speech system for Blizzard Challenge 2020. Here is the overview. First, I will briefly introduce MH1 task. Then I will describe our TTS system. Finally, show the evaluation results. The MH1 task is to build a voice from a Mandarin Chinese data set, which contains about 9.5 hours of speech data. We built our system for this task. Here is our system architecture. There are three components in the system, a bird-based text front-end, a multi-speak touchscreen to model, and a VVN vocoder. In the training phase, we trained a bird-based G2P model on an internal polyphone data set, which includes 145 Chinese polyphonic characters. The Tactron 2 model was trained from an internal multi-speaker data set and fine-tuned on the MH1 data set. GTA was adopted to train the VYN model. Our system ID is P. The right four figures shows the scores of our system. We achieved a good score on PTER. We believe it benefits from the bird-based G2P model. Besides, the Sanhe processing is also important. In the other test sections, we achieved the middle scores. We will make more attempts to improve the system performance. Thanks for your listening.